Hey everybody, Tony Amato from Salmon Trout Steelheader here, and today I'm going fishing with Dave Hazen and uh, Tim Riley here from STS. Yep. And we're just uh, getting the boat set up, getting ready to put her in, and uh, hopefully we'll have some luck. We're going to go out and do some bottom fishing here along the edges, and uh, should be some fishing around. So I'll uh, see you in a few minutes. It's a little chilly, it's not below freezing, so none of us slid down the dock and bumped our head on anything. So, uh, it's looking good, beautiful day. Yeah, we're, we're excited as everybody can see, it's flat calm. Dave really knows the uh, area well and the tides well, so he's got us set up just perfect. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of lings and some rockfish. Dave, while you're uh, while you're there, why don't you why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what what kind of trips you offer? Uh, mostly salmon, a lot of bottom fish, sturgeon, a little bit of crabbing. Yeah, so you're you're pretty much an all around full time doing yeah. it. Yeah, you're able to. So guys, as you can see, it's a beautiful, comfortable boat. Uh, Dave's a great guy to spend a day with, even has a sense of humor. <laughs> we won't hold that against him, but uh, yeah, I've been out with Dave a couple of times and we've always done well and uh, it's, always, it's always a fun day no matter what. been fishing he was just telling us stories as we were running out Dave's been fishing out here since he was a little kid with his grandparents and you know so you want to come with a guy with some experience he's your man we are so spoiled today and lucky to have him on board because uh, I don't think Tim and I would know what to do without this guy All right, Dave's got us on the fish pretty quick right away pull him right in beautiful Nice. And uh, Dave's really good. So we've got Tony and Dave are jigging. I'm throwing a nice light little swim bait outfit. It's really good. So uh, Dave's great. He'll let you do it, uh, whatever you like best. Uh, I like throwing the swim bait. So we're, we're having a nice little morning already. Give it a wing. We're in about... 40 feet of water, let it sink a little bit, and slow roll it back to the boat. Pretty fun. <laughs> nice. So what, what do we got here? What kind of fish is that? Black rockfish. Beauty, beautiful. Yeah. Just, just one of the many fish that can be <laughs> caught out here. Yeah. Another taco. Yeah. Another taco, baby. This is a nice little setup too, Dave. It's not too heavy. It's nice and easy, light to cast. Another fish for the fryer, some tacos, yep. right? More tacos. Tim's not playing nice again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, Yep. get another one. Yeah, it's been good, guys. And yeah. this, uh, this is a great little nice light outfit. I was just telling, telling Dave, it's really easy to cast, very light to hold, good action, but enough backbone to turn them. Those yeah, yeah. The for, like, yeah, is that what they are, redfish rods? Yeah. All right, so here we go. We just uh, got yeah. ourselves a lean cod, we believe. Tim's on the rod here. Dave likes to keep just steady pressure, no uh, lifting and lifting and fighting them traditionally. So I'm just trying to keep even. Yeah, there he is. 
Nice. Couldn't let some line yep, up. Yep. Decent. Yeah, it's good. Nice fish. Would you say that's a good fish, average fish around yeah. here? Average. Yeah. These are about my favorite size to keep where you get, so you don't have a big saggy belly, so you have even firm fillets the whole way. Right. I mean, he's... Right, wow. All you right. get the bigger ones, you know, up 35 inches, 30 inches, somewhere in there. Yeah. You get a big soft belly in here. And usually, you know, those are more females. Yeah. Like this is, that's about perfect for yep. a cod to eat. I mean, he's, he'll have a few pounds of fillets off it. And Beautiful. All right, yeah, well, so we'll, uh, we'll put that one in the box and yep. put our stuff back out. Yep. All right, here we go. Right, we got, a, got another one here. He's just barely hooked. Here we go. That's why you run that. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, the huge. stinger, yeah. <laughs> Welcome this, aboard. This one's probably not even legal. <laughs> this one's going to get the kiss goodbye yeah. after the water. Get, get a little bigger, right? Eh? Yep. We'll see you next year. Yeah, yeah. so even... Like if it's legal at 22 inches, mm -hmm. the difference between that one and this one and that one is probably three or four pounds of meat. So, yeah. yeah, you can you can tell. You might as well just yeah, yep. let, let them go. Them yep. How was that, Tom? Awesome. We're gonna get some more. Yep. We're just getting started. Yep. Let's do it. So we're out here fishing the mouth of the Columbia River here between the states of Oregon and Washington, and uh, Columbia has a really long history going back into the 1800s with uh, a lot of ships that were lost on the bar and a lot of that happened due to the lack of, of a jetty so each time the tide would work its way in and out the sand would shift into different directions and uh, I guess I guess they would have been schooners ships that were under sail would be coming in and out of here and, and the spot that they maybe came in on a high tide when they left wasn't there and so it, so and vice versa they might be coming in or going out and then they get stuck on the sand the waves you know pushes the boat over and everybody had to bail out and uh and that happened quite a bit but now that they've got the jetty here and we've got all this great electronics and uh People, you know, especially people that live down here like Dave, um, are really aware of uh, the weather and, and the best times to come out here and to be safe and to have a good time. And, and boy, I, I, it is so beautiful out here right now. And if you, you know, look at the sun over here on the water, just, uh, just an amazing day. Right, what you got there, Tim? Second other Ling Nice. This one looks like it's pulling pretty hard. Yeah, he's getting a little heavier. Oh yeah, beautiful. He's all blue. It's you think he's sad? Yeah. <laughs> he's sad to meet the three of us. <laughs> good job. There right, you go. Man. Yeah. High five. Yep, I was just, uh, Dave was telling us to, we are coming off the contour to just keep dropping it, keep dropping it, and he hit it on the sink. Wow, look at how, look at how blue, blue he is. Wow, wow that's, that's a cool looking cool. one. Yeah. Amazing. That's about the smallest I like to keep. That's like 25 inches. Yeah. Anything smaller than that, you don't get a whole lot of meat off them. Yeah, it's I mean, not. When they're like 22, 23 inches, a big rockfish has as much meat as a link hood. Wow. God, yeah. That that size to that size is about my my favorite. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, it looks like another bucket mouth for the bucket. Yeah, we like it. Starting to pick at them. Yeah, but that was just what you said, Dave. Follow that contour down. Follow it down. I was dropping it, and it just stopped, yeah. and I knew that was not where it should where it should be stopping. So here we go. We got a, another lean cut here. This one. Yep. Got some. Some this one's got some I shoulders. Think. Yeah, let's see if we can oh, get him in the boat. Right Dave's got him. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. One out. <laughs> it tastes a little bit different, though. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done, boys. Yeah. Well done. Tone, give me five, baby. Right. Awesome. I'm bringing him up. Oh. oh. Almost. It's like a lingcod, just different. Big old 
little smelly bullhead. Yep. <laughs> Those are actually my favorite to eat. All right, Dave, what do we got here? Hopefully it's not another Cabazon. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been the Cabazon king yeah, for some reason or another. double on Cabazons. Oh, that's a Ling. Ling cod? Oh, nice Wingin. one. Beautiful. Oh, good one. That was a nice fish. Nice. That will do. Look at the hook just fell out. Uh -huh. Ah, quick release in the boat. Well done, Dave. Yeah, good one job, more. man. High five. We need one more. One, one more. One to go. You got to keep them in the water when you're getting bit. That's oh, the key. The Down yep, in the depths. Them. Looks like we got a few fish on the marker right here. Yep. We're going to get them. You got a decent bass on that big jig. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at that. That's a fatty. <laughs> My God, look at the belly on that yeah. thing. That's what you remember what I was saying about those smaller link cod? This thing will have just as much meat on oh, as yeah. a little bitty link cod. Oh, nice flaky white. Yeah, that's and you, uh, get, and you get five of those. That's, that's, that's one of that's, the. That's more than fish tacos on yeah. that one. That's a flay. So that that yeah. Well done. Woo. Nice. Like that black rock is probably 25 or 30 years old. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They don't, they don't get as old as some of the other ones, but. Uh, wow, that's a good one. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. So we just had to reset because of max, max flood. So we're going to let our jigs down and then back troll them up on the jetty instead of drifting like normal. You get a, more of a controlled drift that way and you can stay on top of the fish longer. Oh, well, oh, a bite there, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have this thing running for too long or you might catch a fish, right? All right, let's get back to it. One more link had to go for our limit. We just moved into the inside of the South Jetty here. Uh, we were using some 10 ounce jig heads with rubber uh, bodies and now we're switching over to uh, some P-line jigs here. Yep. And then uh, we'll probably pick up our, our final link out here and maybe get a few rock fish as well. We got a few to go on that. Yep. So uh, here we go, let's do it. All right. You guys here were wondering if we could add smell vision to the video. You don't want smell of vision with these boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so Tim just dropped down with his jig and uh, let's see if we can get a fish on here right now. Let's spin it around. Oh, we got one on back in the back there. No, nope. nope. same bite. There's a school of twisted jigs <laughs> going through. <laughs> That's what my favorite rock band, Twisted Jig. Yeah, Twisted Jig. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of dates me. Hey, you guys too, I think, a little oh, yeah. bit. Oh, there we go. No, no, same. No, Twisted Jig. It's a whole school of Twisted Jig. We're playing Twisted Jig, some of their, some of their more popular hits from the <laughs> late 70s, early 80s. Yeah. You know, back when Mono was their lead singer. Oh, I loved Mono. Mono, he, got, he was awesome. He got a little too political though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, later on, Mono. Now he got now he got replaced by Braid. <laughs> Braid doesn't have the raw talent Mono did though. Yeah, that was when we first dropped in until we got a bunch right in a row. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's oh something. there we go. Fish on. Finally. Nice. Something. <laughs> we're starting to look like. Uh, what do we out. got? What do we got here? It's tugging pretty good. Nice. Let's see, Big Dave knows better. There than it you. is. Oh, yeah. That's rock fish. That's good rock fish. There, Beautiful. boys. Beautiful. I don't know. We're going to have to start counting them because we might be done with yeah. the rockfish for today. Pretty close. Good job. Yeah, that was a good one. He whacked it. He whacked it with authority. Yeah, let's get another. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Take them. Look at that. Boy, we're going to be eating good, huh? Almost done. I think we need one more. One more? Come on, Tim, one I more. Know. Here we go, another fish. 
I think I'm getting yeah, a little oh lean. little little lean cod. This one's probably gonna go go back to the bottom to get a little bigger. I don't know. Oh, He's well, a keeper. Gosh. We may not have to go back out. Yeah, so I don't know. It looks like about 20, maybe 22. Nah, right right on the so we had a few fish lose their lunch here a little bit. And it uh, looks like they're feeding on some crab larvae that have been uh, swimming through the water column, or close to the bottom anyway, maybe. And it uh, looks like they're all feeding extremely well. And it uh, looks like there's a lot of crab out there. All right, you guys, who's gonna win the $5 bet here? Next fish. We got head to head casting. Oh, oh. there, Tim the wins old the bet. Striper man. You're not being nice, Tim. Tim, I owe you a dollar. I just missed. Oh, he's too little. Oh, he doesn't no. count. He doesn't count. Dave's still in it. Come on, Tom, get in on it. Oh, no, I'm good. This, this is, is good. Oh, oh, oh whoa. We got a runner. Maybe that's our Lynn. Or a sea lion. This one's running. Or a sea lion. I got a sea lion. I can hear. Oh, no, I can, can you land a sea I can lion? Hear that, I can hear that real zinging. Oh, yeah. What's the women on sea lions? Jesus. <laughs> that was a sea lion. Yeah, that was a sea lion. I'm going to go with sea that's lion. Right that one's right there. Oh, my God. Does it just does pop that, up? Does that whoa, whoa, Tim! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, you well, guys. Well, everybody, we're having a ball, and uh, we got the bonus our, sea lion. Our guy Dave just lost a very large sea lion. <laughs> we had to, had to let it go. Yeah, I had to let it go. Oh god. <laughs> Those sea lions will really stretch you out. <laughs> what, what's your favorite color here? The for the swim bait, the that purple or yeah, no, the red and the what was that you call that? It's like red Glitter and black and with a red belly. Then you got a purple and white one right here. Yeah. What uh, what size uh, weight you got on there? One ounce. One ounce. Seems to be the ticket right here, guys. Yeah. Right here on the inside of the South Jetty. Yeah, guys. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, we'll have Dave's information at the end of the video, but you gotta come out and do this. This is a great, this is a great time. Dave's a great guy, knows the history, knows the fishing. Like I said earlier, he's been doing it since he was a little kid, coming out with his grandparents and even way before he started guiding. So it's a great guy to spend the day with and a great fishery. So it's pretty good all the way around, huh? You having fun? Everybody having fun? Oh yeah, we're having a uh, having a great time, and yeah. uh, and I can't uh, agree more. You know, you want to come out to a place like this with somebody that's been doing it for a long time and really knows the water. Yep. And it just takes all the guesswork out of it. Yep. So uh, kudos to Dave. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, not to mention a nice bag of fish for the way home too. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the other good part. Then we shook Tim's underwear and these came out. <laughs> Not sure what they are, they look like crabs. So, so we got uh, two All fish right. down, a double for Tim. He had one hit. I had off. our triple and then I became so, cameraman. Yes, cameraman. So look at the variety, guys. Dave's got himself one, a cool this, wing, little wing guy. This one's like, uh, yep. Tone? What's Tone got? Dogging it. That's uh, just dogging it out. Tone, Tone might have another ling here. Let's see what we got. Oh, good, good rockfish. All right. Well, I'd like to stay on the camera, but this fishing's too much fun and too good. So goodbye. Great day here. We got a limit of fish. Dave is the best guy ever. 
And uh, Tim just told us his life story growing up in high school. Yeah. Uh, I think he lost his voice there a little yeah. bit. But, uh, yeah. But when nice day. Uh, we're going to go clean some fish. And uh, we'll be right back. So this morning, we ran into a few elk here at the boat launch. We also drove past some coming in. But apparently, you know, these guys are just like pets. Just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. I tried to uh, tried to get Tim and Dave to come over and pet one, but they took a uh, rain check on that. guys well thanks for finishing up with us here we're just getting to the fun part the filleting part and uh i mean, mainly mean that's fun for dave <laughs> he won't let us near sharp objects <laughs> but uh as you can see uh, a good electric fillet knife makes pretty short work of this stuff so and dave's got much much experience with it how many how many fillets do you think you do a season dave uh, thousands right oh yeah. yeah so again we'll have all Dave's information at the end of the video but if you want to come out and have a great day with a great guy Dave's your man so uh we'll have all his info at the uh bottom of the video so um that's about it that's about a wrap as you can see we did quite well we got our limits so uh and plus released a bunch of rock fish just for fun so good day what do you boys think Pretty good day. Yeah. Would you, would you ever have us out again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it that fun? <laughs> Anytime you want. All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Yep. Thanks for having us. It's yep. been awesome. Uh, we also we also got some trout being yeah, played up a, uh... played up right next door to us and uh, yeah, good times and uh, hey people, if you get a chance to go outside and. Do some fishing and you know just enjoy the outdoors you know dave's your guy yep. and uh it's a great time so uh see you next time yep Yeah, he said that, that if you want to trade him, Tim, one of your yeah, link Five cubs. for one link. Yeah. Yeah. How's that for a trade? The barter. The barter system. Yeah. I don't know.